Hello, my name is Judith Rodriguez, and I'll be informing about the use of bacterial toxins as therapeutics for human illness. Toxicity is the ability of an organism to cause disease by means of toxins that inhibit host cell function or kill host cells or the host itself. Microbial toxins are toxins produced by microorganisms, including bacteria and fungi. Microbial toxins promote infection and disease by directly damaging host tissues and by disabling the immune system. Just as toxins can, can cause harmful diseases, bacterial toxins can be used as therapeutics for human illnesses. Bacterial toxins can either be exotoxins or endotoxins. Exotoxins immediately release into the surrounding area where endotoxins are released only when the bacteria are killed by the immune system. Exotoxins are toxic proteins secreted by the pathogen as it grows. These toxins travel from a site of infection and cause damage at distant sites. Exotoxins fall into three categories in terms of their mechanisms. AB toxins, catalytic toxins, and superantigen toxins. AB toxins are considered the most potent exotoxins because they interfere with the function of the host cell. Catalytic toxins cause damage or death the cells by cytolysis, which is the splitting of the cells. Superantigen toxins cause a massive immune response in order to destroy host cells. Unlike exotoxins, endotoxins are not proteins. They are part of the gram-negative adder membrane. Endotoxins cause a variety of psychological effects. Fever is an almost universal result of endotoxin exposure because endotoxins stimulate host cells to release cytokines. These are soluble proteins secreted by certain cells of the immune system that affect the temperature controlling center of the brain, causing fever. Cytokines released as a result of endotoxin exposure can also cause diarrhea, increased heart rate, rapid decrease in the number of lymphocytes and platelets and generalized inflammation. Other psychological consequences of endotoxin exposure include activation of the complement cascade, which also triggers inflammation and activation of the blood coagulation, which can lead to blood clots and reduce blood flow. Large doses of endotoxin can cause death from hemorrhagic shock and kidney failure. Endotoxins are generally less toxin than most exotoxins and rarely cause symptoms that can lead to death. These responses to endotoxins enhance host survival by increasing the interaction with the antigen infecting the host. AB toxin is the most potent substance known because they interfere with the function of the host cell. AB toxins are made of two subunits, A and B. The B subunit facilitates the transfer of the A component of the active portion across the cytoplasm membrane by binding to the surface molecule of the host cell. Some of the, some of the best known and most potent AB exotoxins include those expressed in diphtheria, tetanus, botulism, and cholera. Botulinum toxin is a bacterium that produces dangerous toxins under low oxygen conditions. Botulinum toxins are one of the most lethal substances known. Botulinum toxins block nerve function and can lead to respiratory and muscular paralysis. They do this by blocking the release of neurotransmitters that control muscle activities. Normal transmission of a nerve impulse to a muscle cell at a muscular junction requires interaction of the neurotransmitters acetylcholine with a muscle receptor. Botulinum toxins are neurological exotoxins that prevent the interactions of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine with the muscle receptors in order to send nerve impulses to muscle cells and therefore cause paralysis or even death because the muscles are severely affected and are unable to relax. Botulinum toxins are beneficial for treatment for spasticity, tremors, cosmetic applications, migraine and tension headaches because they are caused by neuropathy or stress-induced muscle tension. Small amounts of toxins, when diluted, can be safely injected into muscles to relieve pain. 
Botox works by blocking certain nerve signals that control muscle activity and can be used to treat uncontrolled muscle contractions and release chronically contracted muscles. Although detrimental to the susceptible host during infection, the activities of several bacterial toxins have been exploited as probes of eukaryotic cellular pathways and for medicinal applications. Inactive or weak forms of bacterial toxins are used in vaccines by chemical treatment called toxoid vaccine. This is done by genetic manipulation of the toxic genes to create a detoxified bacterial toxin that can be injected into the host. These vaccines containing the bacterial toxin reduce the risk of disease by developing immunity against these. Toxoid vaccines develop immunity by imitating an infection. This type of infection, however, almost never causes illness, but it does cause the immune system to produce T lymphocytes and antibodies. Sometime after getting a vaccine, the imitation infection can cause minor symptoms such as fever. Such minor symptoms are normal and should be expected as the body builds immunity. Once the imitation infection goes away, the body is left with a supply of memory, T lymphocytes, as well as B lymphocytes that will remember how to fight that toxin in the future. These bacterial toxins caused in the vaccine include pertussis, diphtheria, tetanus, and cholera. Bacterial toxins can be lethal and cause death when a host is infected in large quantities. But when the toxins are used in smaller or weakened forms, they can be good for the host. They promote immunity against diseases that can be fatal and help co contain chronic pain. Although toxins are used for bacterial growth to infect the host, they can be used to build immunity against the same bacterial toxins.